So what soulless worship is? Soulless worship is going in to worshiping God, to worshiping Creator, but being very empty while you're doing it. Saying all these words, but not really meaning it. There's no, there's no passion there. So it's like, say, you have two girls who are doing ballet dancing, for example. This one girl, she, she was only doing it because her mother was forcing her to do it. So she would force her to do all these, um, all these steps, all these moves, all these moves, and she would force extreme training on her to make her body strong. And so she didn't, she lacked the passion, the passion to do the dance. She, she didn't feel the movements within her heart and pulled that forth, doing it with everything of her being. She lacked that. Whereas the other girl, she had passion. She performed with her entire heart and soul and being. She may have lacked in the strong body side of it, but she would learn that at a later stage. But she had the passion. She was able to dance with her heart, pouring forth in her movements. She had the passion. And so when we worship Creator, when we worship God, we need to bring that passion into the worship. Not just say words that you've learned, but to say words that your soul is wanting to say. That your soul is just pouring forth waters from your heart. That you have this passion for God. And you just want to say whatever is coming through that you want to be passionate about. Like glorifying God. Seeing how wonderful He is. How great He is. Thanking Him for even just the simplest of things and glorify him saying you know how holy he is for he is holy and just wanting to dance and perform to him and worship him with everything that you have because you want to show to him that you are so grateful that he made you and you just want to worship him because he's your creator he made you. He made your soul. He made your spirit. He knit you in your mother's womb. He watched you as you grew up. He loves you. He adores you. He created every fiber of your soul, every fiber of your being. And you just want to worship him and thank him and adore him and praise him. There should be so much passion in worship. For it is a thing of love. That you love your creator. You love that he created you. You love to worship him. You love to dance. And to praise him with the drums, with the lyres, to jump and dance. Worship should be a wonderful, a wonderful thing done in many different ways, in a very pure and a holy way. Think on this today. For God wants worshippers. He wants his creations to worship him in spirit and in truth. Worship him with your entire being. Your entire being. For he adores people to worship him. He loves it.